CNBC's senior congressional correspondent, Elon Moy, is live in Washington tonight. Elon, is this looking like another summer of gridlock? Well, Chef, Democrats do have a lot packed onto their plate. They've got the wage gap, voting rights, China, judicial nominations, and that's just for the month of June. I'm intent on restoring balance to a judiciary that has been thrown out of whack by four years of President Trump's selections. But top Senate Republican Mitch McConnell dismissed Democrats' agenda as transparently designed to fail. Instead, he said they should focus on things they all agree on, like fixing roads and bridges. The American people rightly expect a 50-50 Senate to spend its time finding common ground. But our Democratic colleagues seem to believe that the most important expectations are those of their far left fringe. Now, infrastructure talks are inching along. Republican Senator Shelley Moore Capito, who's been leading the GOP negotiations with the White House, is supposed to speak with President Biden before he leaves for the U.K. Her latest offer included another $50 billion in new spending, but the administration said it still fell short of their objectives on jobs, the economy, and the climate crisis. So doesn't sound promising, but the two sides may have no choice but to work together, whether it's on infrastructure, voting rights, or anything else, after the other senator from West Virginia, Democrat Joe Manchin, swore not to end the filibuster. Believe it or not, though, compromise is possible. The Senate is planning to vote tomorrow on a sweeping bill to invest in American research and development so that we can better compete with China. Chef, it took weeks of debate and marathon negotiations, but it is expected to pass with broad bipartisan support. Elon, thank you. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.